baby. <laughs> what Hi. happened? How are you? What happened? I've been trying your number all day. It's not been going through. My baby, I'm sorry. Look, by the time I was done making all those deliveries and I had to go to the market, my phone died now. I was so worried. I'm sorry, okay? So how was your day? Oh, it was okay. It was stressful, but oh. thank God. My baby. Look, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to quickly go inside and freshen up. Okay. Help me get the things I bought from the market in a taxi, okay? Okay, I'll go do that now. So just go take a shower and I'll come meet you, okay? Mm. Mm. Come in. Mm. Mm. You're kissing. I when a taxi man is waiting for you. Help. Please help me get the things from the okay. taxi. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> What's up? Hmm? When are you coming to bed? Baby, please. I have loads of orders for tomorrow. And I'm, I'm just writing down the orders and the customer's information. So I'll be able to avoid confusion. It will make deliveries easy for me tomorrow. Hmm? Baby, I'm sorry now. Please, I'm almost done. I'll join you soon. Baby, I don't need your sorry. Okay? I don't need it. Just allow me to express my displeasure about all this. I'm human too now. Okay? I, sh I, sh I should matter. I'm your husband. Of course you matter. But please, what I'm doing right now is really important. I promise I'll join you soon. I'm doing this for us now, Austin. Please, let me just finish up quickly. It's fine. Since you're in hard working wifey, I've got something for you. Okay. Hmm? Austin, oh. I, Austin I've, I've had a really, really stressful day. Hmm? And I know how much you hate it when I don't match your energy in bed. Please, please baby, let's just do this tomorrow so I can finish up what I'm doing. Okay? It's fine. You just finish what you're doing and sleep on time so that tomorrow morning we can have mind-blowing early morning sex. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You know how much I love I know. so many orders today and I just thought to myself why don't I just come down and start cooking on time hmm? so I don't disappoint anyone or deliver <laughs> late <laughs> it's okay I'll just be here to help you out no please go back to bed and rest I can do this myself okay are you sure about that yes I'm sure you know what I'm still staying hmm? I mean, I can lend a helping hand and who knows how lucky I might be. I might just get a quick in the kitchen. This <laughs> naughty man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Actually, help me pass the rice. Okay. Mm. Okay. Look, I, if I mess up this food, they will be very angry with me. Okay. 
in here. Actually, help me turn that so it doesn't burn. Almost ready? Yeah, baby. Uh, here. What's this for? The landlord came yesterday and was talking about some bills that we have to pay. Lights, service charge, and some other things I can't remember. Okay, why don't you just give it to him? Because you have to be the one to do it. Does it matter? You're the man of this house. <laughs> the crown on my head. The head of this family. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Mm -hmm. And also, this is for you. I'm sure by the time you're back from the gym, I'll be out making deliveries already. Baby. Mm -hmm. You're so thoughtful. Because mm -hmm. hmm? I love you. <laughs> and your golden mind mm -hmm. is unmatched. I love you too. Hmm? I love you more. Thank you. <laughs> Can you smell that? Oh my gosh, the rice I put on the fire. Mm. Woo! Whew. Ay, ay, ay. What's up, bro? I mean, you've been acting up since we've been walking out. What's up with you? It's my wife. She's not been giving me attention like before. I mean, we're a young couple, but we lack adventures and fun in our marriage because she's always very busy. It's either she's cooking, taking new orders, or even going to the market. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate God for everything he's done for our business, expansion-wise. But I want more, man. I want more. I, I feel very needy and neglected in this marriage. What is wrong with you, Austin? No, tell me what is wrong with you. You and I know this woman has been a strong financial hold in this marriage. You and I still understand the fact that you have been jobless for so long and this woman has never for once rubbed it in your face or tried as much as possible to make you feel little of yourself. Then why are you complaining? No, tell me why are you complaining? Look, bro, I agree that she brings in everything. And I appreciate that, man. Trust me, I do appreciate that. But money isn't everything in marriage. Do you understand? Money isn't everything in marriage. We lack so much these days. We don't have good sex anymore. We don't have spontaneous time together. We don't have fun. I'm sure your wife gives you that. You don't lack that. And that is one of the spices of marriages. Do you realize that I think that you're the most luckiest man on earth? Do you realize how many things I have done just to make sure my wife matches up? Many know but she believes that a man should provide everything for her and every business I've tried to work for her has collapsed. Why? Because she doesn't even believe she can do it. I have to pay for uh, the seasoning in the house. I have to pay for salt in the house. I have to pay for pepper. I have to pay for her sanitary pad. I mean, I would give anything just to have a wife like Elena. Understanding, productive, supportive and all that. What do you want? What tell me, what do you expect? I know she's supportive. I know she's productive and I appreciate that from her. Do you understand? But I want more. I want to take my wife on vacations. I want to go clubbing. I want to have spontaneous sex. Is that too much to ask for? Come on, man. I need these things. This is what makes the marriage work. And it's not for the guy. I feel really neglected at this point, and this is what I crave for. Do you realize life is not always fair? Sometimes we think the grass is greener on the other side, but when you look at it, the grass is greener in your end than the other side. When life serves us with lemons, we need to know how to make lemonades of the lemons. So learn to make your lem lemon is off your lemons. You get me right? Yeah. No oh, while well, I hear you. All right, give me one cold Udeme. <laughs> I beg. You got problem, you still want to take Udeme. Give me one drink first. Where are my boys? <sighs> Hope you guys are good. Wait, hold on. Let me understand something. Are you seriously yelling at me because I set up a date and I couldn't make it because I was busy? Wait, do you think I don't have any other thing better to do with my time? <laughs> you are a joker. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Fine, fine, fine. I am sorry. Are you happy now? Oh, wait.
wait, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to lie down on this ground and beg you? Or I, I, should, I should actually prostrate or kneel down and say, oh, I'm sorry because you're the best boyfriend in the whole world? Please. Wait, let, let me remind you as if you've forgotten. I am doing you a favor by being your girlfriend. Do you know why? Because there are thousands of men that line up every single day begging me to be their girlfriend. And I said, no, I chose you instead. And now you are giving me attitude. No, you should be thanking me. You should, you should go to the church and, 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 and ask to do a testimony and give God glory because I am in your life. Do you know what it is to date a classic girl like me? Man, I am the full package. Yes. You know what? You're pissing me off right now and, and you owe me an apology. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, you... Okay. If you do not apologize to me, then you can go ahead and kiss this relationship goodbye. What? <laughs> it's the audacity for me. <laughs> Hi, Elena. Hi. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Your order as requested. Ooh, thank you. Like, I trust you. <laughs> ah, as soon as you walk through that door, the aroma will just all over the place and my test buds are screaming because they know they're about to dig in. <laughs> wow. Thank you again. Um, sorry. Sorry, do you have a minute? There's something I'd like to discuss with you, please? Sure. All right, so come in. All right. Ooh. Um, have a seat. Thank you. Um, should I, would you like to take anything? I have juice, I have wine. No, I have... no, I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? Yes, I am. <sighs> um, all right, I, um, Sorry to say, what I'm about to ask you is coming from a place of love and friendship. You know, I sell wigs and I have very affordable ones that you can buy. I can even do you a discount, something to just help you change your look a little bit. What's, what's wrong with my hair? <laughs> your hair is nice, actually, but I mean, I feel it's not fair that you don't get to change your hair. It's either you wear your hair down or you do cornrows. Wait, hold on. Is your husband okay that you wear this look all the time? Look, buying a wig is just not my priority. And as long as my hair looks fine, that's all that matters. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I'm not trying to be you know, rude or anything, but but you're a very beautiful woman. And it's unfair that you're just basic and classless. I mean, you deserve more. There are thousands and millions of men out there who would kill and give you millions of naira to just have a night with you. But here you are just living a basic life in the name of marriage. And most times when I look at you, you don't look too happy to me, so I don't... I don't know what's going on in your marriage, but I feel that there are young girls out there, your age, who have millions of naira, men spoiling them. And you should also enjoy things like that. So honestly, I don't know how to put this, but I really do want you to take care of yourself. That's, that's where all this is going. Well, thank you for the advice. Not all of us can be fortunate enough to marry very wealthy men. You can marry someone who doesn't have much. You can both grow and build together. Well, like you know, I'm married. And my husband, whom I respect very much, he doesn't have that much. But with our individual hustles, I'm sure that we'll get there someday. But thank you. Thank you for looking out for me. Well, fine. It's OK. I mean, it's your life and you have all the control over it. You can do whatever you like. But in case you change your mind or anything or you need any help, just just call me. I'm just a call away. I'll be very, very happy to help you unravel the beauty and class that I know you have within you. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. I, uh, I have to run now. Oh, I'm 
so sorry for taking your time. That's okay. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you so much. Hope yes. you enjoy the food. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I tell you, no be joking. Because honestly, it just happened. Do you understand? If I can just get an opportunity, just one opportunity, that's all I need. And most of the time, business is not what you think it is most of the times, you know. Guys, yeah, trust me, you have a business. You're doing better. I don't have a job. You think I'm doing better? Of course you are. What are you saying? How many people do you see here? Just one job. This place is almost empty now. What are you saying? This place is almost empty. Yeah, you're only right. still bedtime. Okay. Who would that be? How am I supposed to know? You should know one of your customers. You don't know she's going to keep tabs on your customers. When she comes here once in a while to chill, that's all I know about her. OMG. What does that mean? Guy, I'll be right back. Austin. Guy, I said I'll be right back. Trust me, man. Austin. Chill. I said chill. Ah. <clears throat> Beautiful girls like you shouldn't be left alone. Can I keep you company? I don't mind the company of the fine man. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eve. Austin. Mm, nice to meet you, Austin. The pleasure is all mine. Um, do you come here all the time? Yeah, I do. I chill here a lot. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess today is my lucky day. <laughs> I get to chill with the most beautiful girl in town. You can say that again. Do <laughs> uh, you care for anything? I guess I'll just ask for your menu. Okay. Let me check. I want something different. Okay. Mm. I got you. Um, can we get a drink for the young lady? Yeah, she wants something to drink. Baby, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was calling you today. Why didn't you pick my calls? Hey, I'm so sorry, honestly. Uh, you know how Mario's bar can be at now, huh? I was there and I didn't know the phone was ringing. You know it can be noisy. Hmm? Fine. <laughs> Just freshen up. And okay. I tried this new recipe. I'm mm. not sure about how it's going to taste, but <laughs> <laughs> I want you to taste it. Okay, um, maybe I am kind of full. Okay, Mario's friend had celebrated his birthday at the bar. And we had so much to eat and drink. Wait. <sighs> Big. Young man, are you rejecting your wife's food? No. How can I reject my wife's food? It's just that there's no space again. Hmm? That's not how they do it. So married men, when you eat outside, you leave space for your wife's food now. I agree. I totally agree. That is fine. I made <laughs> juice too. Do you want something? Sure. Too? Come on. I can't say into my <laughs> wife's juice. Hmm? Mm. So um, I'll grab it from the kitchen, go mm -hmm. freshen up, and I'll come join you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> right back. Okay. I need to clean this kitchen. Hello, handsome. How are you? Um, hi, pretty. How are you? I hope you go home safe. Yes, I called to thank you for today. It was really nice meeting and spending time with you. I really enjoy your presence. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Um, I haven't gotten such remarks this year. <laughs> and um, I also enjoyed your company, hmm? your positive vibes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't mind seeing you more often to match vibes. I really can't wait to hang out with you again as soon as possible. <sighs> okay. Um, What about tomorrow? If that's okay with you, I'm down for it. <laughs> really? Do you stay around? Yes, I do. Okay, um, what about um, 2 p.m.? Is that okay? Perfect. Um, you know what? Let me just go shower. I'll call you back, okay? Baby, missed a lot, too. 
Seriously, my meeting took forever. I couldn't just make out time to attend. I'm sorry. Had it been you attend, you would love it. It lasted for an hour and it was late. <sighs> now you're making me feel bad for missing your meeting. You should feel bad, honey. Oh my God, but seriously, I had to be there for my meeting. I've been looking forward to meeting these partners for the entire year. I couldn't miss it for anything so in the your world. your meeting was that important for you to miss my seminar, really? Babe, I would always turn up for you and you knew it. So this was important, really. Stop, seriously. Major. Okay. Wahala. <sighs> Guys, stop calling. Why, what did you do that for? Take this call now. It's just this my yeah yeah boyfriend that wants to stress me out. Babe, just leave the goods, really. No, so, yeah. that is a mean thing to say about your boyfriend. I mean, he's probably calling to check in on you. No, we are fighting. What? Fighting? Again? Well, seriously, can we not talk about Jay right now, please? Because you didn't... Let's not talk about him. Seriously, he's not that important. So tell me about your boyfriend. How did your date go? Tell me. I need to take his call. This just can't wait. Zara, are you telling me you left your house to come here and talk about Jay? Nah. Mm -mm. Seriously, you see men like Jay, I know how to treat their fuck-ups. Because he feels he can treat any woman the way he likes it and get away with it but someone like me i put them in their place every single time so leave him for me okay oh yeah forget this j matter give me better gist let's go okay well well if you say so so my boyfriend came to surprise me today immediately after my seminar you oh. needed to see how happy he was he was so proud of me oh, i'm so i'm so happy for you really Thank you. enough of the blushing jerry <laughs> get out <laughs> <laughs> you know, easy now. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, you know what? For missing your seminar, okay, you get to eat vegetable soup. What soup? Vegetable soup. My favorite. I know. Get ready and make the eba. Huh? Oh, I go keep your soup. Eh? I'm gonna know the why. You sit down there. Hey. <laughs> Damn. I like that. Show me more. Show me more. I want to see more. Something like that. Hmm. <laughs> See, I'll call you back, I'll call you back, okay? He's already asleep. So babes, how your guy now? Well, because you sounded as if you guys wanted to break up yesterday. Exactly. Thank you. We wanted to, but he kept begging, begging, and begging. Really? What mm. happened? Of course I knew he was going to beg. Hello, babe. This is a one-time opportunity for this guy to date a sophisticated, classy, and educated girl like me. You're my guy, and I will tell you the truth. You were wrong. I mean, you stood him up and you didn't even deem his fit to call to cancel. Well, he's the one that took everything personally and started making a big deal out of it. I had to put him in his place. You're being too harsh on this guy. You are. Babe, forget that thing. Seriously. See, men, you don't need to make them know that you love them so much. If not, they will use your head and play ball. See, I am a 10 over 10 classy chick to the core, girl. A man needs to know that they mm. need to tolerate and pamper me. Do you understand? Okay. I hear you. Uh -huh. I understand. But babes, I still think you should take things easy. See, this guy loves you. He loves everything about you. He drops his ego to come beg you whenever you guys have issues, regardless of he's at 40 and you know this. Well, I, I know he loves me and I love him right back. You're playing right now. Why? I sincerely think you're playing with this guy. No, 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 Zara, don't, don't think that. Wait, if I made you feel I don't love him, then you're getting the wrong idea. I... 
I love this guy so, so much. How do I put this? I don't just want him to know that I love him, so he will not start getting into his head and he will start treating me like crap. That, okay, I'll give you the full story. So after the whole saga and everything, he started calling and calling and calling all night. I was just looking at him, I'm like having the time of my life. And this morning he showed up at my doorstep with a beautiful bouquet, a tray of food and wine. Girl, it was lovely. Well, bottom line is we're back together. Nikki, mm -hmm. NK, yes, all power belongs to you. Go what? How do you do this? But now you're talking. This is exactly what you have been doing when you came here. Just praise me, praise me, praise me, and watch and learn. Instead I of see complaining, you. girl. I, I hear am you. a woman, and I have to <laughs> will my power because. Uh, uh, see, don't, don't play with me. But anyways, anyways, take it easy, please. This guy loves you clearly. <sighs> Stop going on and on and on and on. Don't annoy me, please. Okay, I'm not here for that, and I'm very famished. What do you get for your eh? kitchen? Which one be fam? My darling, there's no food for you. I know, that's all that your kitchen will block me. That food where that big cook, I know they share with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. I hope it wasn't hard locating here. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Not at all. Thanks to Google Map. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Welcome once again. Thank you. Please do feel at home. What do I get for you? You know what I like now. Why would you be asking me such questions that's like true, I'm a stranger? <laughs> My bad. Okay, I'll be right back. Just like you asked. <laughs> um, what about your wife? <laughs> Don't worry about her. She's not coming back anytime soon. Don't worry about my wife, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? I really don't feel comfortable being in your bedroom. What if your wife walks in on us? Don't worry, she's my wife, okay? I know her schedule. She'll be home, home like two to three hours or four hours. Okay? Are you, are you sure? I'm very sure. Calm down. That was brain blowing. Damn, you're good. <sighs> Trust me, I enjoyed the way you matched every rhythm of stroke and thrust. <sighs> you're so sweet. <sighs> Loved how you're tight and wet. Gucci grabbed my hard stuff. This is the best sex I've ever had. Fuck. I can have you on and on and on. Hmm? Same here, baby. Same here, babe. Really? Yeah. But I feel this will last. Because you're married. This is when did marriage become a barrier? As long as we want and desire each other, it shouldn't be a barrier, okay? Come here. I love how the sex made you feel. Oh, fuck, baby. You have no idea. I enjoy every bit of it. I felt this electrifying sensation down my body. It felt so different. The way you kissed me. The way you touched me. The way you looked into my eyes. I could feel it. 
before you grabbed me so hard. I felt this burning sensation down my spine. Babe, I didn't want it to end. It doesn't have to. I want you more. I want you every day. Okay. I want you everywhere. I want to do it every time with you. I'm so tired. Mm. Maybe I'm so tired. I had a very busy day. Baby, is there something wrong? Very long day. I'm really tired. Hmm? Long day. What did you do? I had um, I had to inspect some properties, you know, and I did a lot of walking to different places. Why didn't you tell me about it? I'm sorry. I, I must have skipped my mind or something. Um, I have this new mandate and uh, she has um, a lot of properties for sale. So uh, we had to go over the agreements together, you know. She had to explore properties, inspections and um, agreements together. It was, it was a lot, trust me, baby, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. But see, I promise I'll make it up to you in the morning, I promise. Okay. Mm. Baby, you know I have to wake up very early in the morning and start cooking so I can fulfill orders on time. Mm, yeah, I know. Well, I promise I'll, I'll wake up much earlier than you will huh? and I'll give you mind blowing morning sex. Hmm? Hmm. Baby, come on now. Mm, no, I need to sleep. I'm tired. Mm. I'll make it up to you, Good night. What do you mean? Do you want to kill me in this family? Am I the only son in this family? Ah! Every time you keep asking, asking, asking. It's not fair, it's not right. Ah, you don't even care about how I fend with myself and my family. Ah, all you guys care about is just to keep taking and taking. Ah! Baby, what's wrong now? It's nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Please now, just tell me, hmm? When did you start keeping things from me? It's my sister and her constant money problems. I just don't want to indulge her. Austin, just calm down and talk to me like you always do. Hmm? 
She's saying she has some money problems. She needs money for to sort out some school stuff. <laughs> well, I told her I don't have any money. Uh -uh. I mean, she can't just call and start demanding for money. <sighs> Baby, but you know how it is in uni now. You understand this thing. Besides school fees, there's a million and one things to sort. Handouts here, projects there, tests, feeding, and little things she might need for herself. You're a graduate, you should understand. Mm -hmm. You're her big brother. Well, I told her I don't have any money. She should call my brother. He's a man. He should also contribute just as we have been contributing. Ah. Your brother is not working. And you know it. Look, don't worry about it, okay? I'll sort it. Baby, you see why I didn't want to tell you anything about this? You've been doing a whole lot. You just paid our rent two weeks ago. And you pay other utility bills. And you still hustle. Honestly, I just don't want to put my family problems on you. Please. Uh -uh. It's me now, Austin. Why are you talking like this? Look, you know if we don't send her this money, she's going to keep calling because she doesn't have any, anywhere else to get it. How much is she asking for? Hmm? She's asking for 70k. Fine. I will send it. It's important we send her this money. When, young, when girls are young and broke in the university, that's when they start messing around. And you don't want that for her now. Baby. What would I have done without you in this life? You're my best half. You're my jewel of esteemable value. You're my joy, my love, my everything. I wouldn't spend a day without you in this life. I love you so much. Thank you for all you do for me and my family. I don't take this for granted. Honestly, I don't. <sighs> Maybe you sent it to me. Yes, now, so you can send it to her. She doesn't have to know it's coming from me now. Hmm? Oh, baby. You're so sweet. You're such a darling. What did I ever do to be lucky? I love you so much. Come on, you. I love you too. Hmm? God, I'm so lucky, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making love to the most beautiful and amazing wife ever. Come here? here. Mm -hmm. This is our house. We can do anything, anyhow we want to know. I have so much to do. Baby, trust me, I'll make you real quick, okay? You will not regret this. You love it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, it's man, good. what's up, man? How you doing? I did, I did. Good to see you, man. How's business? Hi, Derek. How you doing, man? Good, Hello. yourself? Yeah. Um, okay. Babe, what do you care for? Um, I think I'll just do Four Cousins, is eh? mm, Nice choice. Uh, just give us a cold bottle of Four Cousins, hmm, for starters. Oh, uh, sure, definitely. Um, yeah. I'd like to see you, bro, okay? Hi, can I please tell you, but just for me, please? Babe, can I? Oh, okay. I'll be back soon, okay? Alright, sure. Don't be long. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. Trust me. <laughs> Can I have my drink at least? Sure, sure, sure. Now, Fana, what's up? What's in the play? Yeah, what's up? I don't be that big waste for you that they be that. Hey, now, Sheena, what's up? No, 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 come on, I said, baby, baby, baby. Guy, you be my guy, I don't lie to you, but me and this babe, we're in a relationship now. Augustine, <sighs> do you forget you're married, man? Yes, yeah, so if my wife is not giving me what I need, I'll get it elsewhere. But wait, what if he finds out? I mean, who won't tell him? Now you won't tell him. Eh? Or my babe won't tell him. God, you won't fuck me up like this now, eh? You know what's up. Okay, normal thing. I know I cannot break the bro code, but then again, what you're doing is it right? What is wrong about it? Really, what is wrong? 
Yes, my wife brings everything, like you said, and I do appreciate that. Yes, she brings everything, but she doesn't rub it on your face like she brings everything. I mean, she worships you, she adores you, and she's very productive. What are you doing? Yeah, you, you're right. You're right about my wife. She does everything you say. But I am not fulfilled, girl. I am not fulfilled. Honestly, I'm not happy. I mean, she doesn't even understand my love language. Attention, quality time, she doesn't. Yes, she's good in bed, but bro, trust me, man. <laughs> she doesn't match up with this girl. I'm telling you, she's not naughty like this girl, erotic, wild, spontaneous. This gotta give me back to back. Ah. See, Mario, honestly, <laughs> this girl gave me explosive sex the other day. Yes, I went to night cloud, literally. Ah, I know what I'm saying now. Eh? And the truth about it is that I, I cry tears of pleasure. Yes, tears of pleasure. My wife doesn't do all this now. I need to be happy. I can't be needy man all the ladies of my life. Come on. Eh? Stop all this preaching and bring out a damn drink, man. I beg. Wait. No, don't knock. Mario, get our drinks, man. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. See, I have something else I want to tell you about. Eh, come to our table, see what it does. But I need my drink. I can't leave my girl like that now. You know what's up now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let me get the orders. Yeah, please. Come in, it's open. Hey, oh I've been gosh. calling and calling and calling. I'm so sorry, the traffic is something else. I apologize. <gasps> It's fine. I'm so hungry, like, I want to eat this entire building. I can imagine. I'm sorry. It's, it's cold. Let me just no, 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 no. microwave. Let me do it for you. Don't bother. I'll do it. I'll are do you it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Sure. All right. That's so nice. Okay. Wow. All done. So Ooh, so careful. fast. Yes, it's your microwave. It was pretty fast. Oh, thank you. Um, is that your man? Yes, that's my husband, Austin. Hmm. Now I see why you're so stuck up with your husband, because he's so cute. <laughs> and I'm very sure he's handsome down there. Well, apart from my husband being the most handsome man alive, mm -hmm. he's an amazing person. He's my best friend. He loves me and I love him too. Aww. I think, I think we have the best love story ever. <laughs> my dear, love stories are best in fairy tales. Clearly you're so smitten by your husband as it is, but to be honest, these guys are not to be trusted. <laughs> From my opinion, actually, if you ask me. I promise you, Austin is the last of his kind. I trust my husband with every fiber in my body. And he's never done anything to make me feel otherwise. Um, I beg me so tell me to make a good person within love, love advice. <laughs> At this point, I give up. <laughs> Good luck to you, my darling, Thank and you. your fantasy world and everything. <laughs> um, okay, I, I would to. just send me your account number. I'm going to forward the money no to you. No problem. Again, Thank I'm you. so sorry. It's fine. All right, mm? bye. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, no, I can't help. Okay, so is that not supposed to be the perfect man, the most faithful man on earth? Like the last of its kind in the entire human race? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Men will stain your white and leave you face flat on the floor. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> 
Okay. Hello, Ma. How are you? Hello, Elena. How are you doing? I'm good, Ma. I just got home from today's hustle. Okay. And uh, how is your husband? Oh, he's fine, Ma. Oh, okay. Is he around? Is he at home? No. Um, I know this might sound a bit uncomfortable, but I just saw your husband in a hotel where I came to have lunch with another woman. You saw my husband in a hotel with another woman? Yes. Precisely, uh, yes, Cadillac Hotel. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe he's there with his business partner. I know that they are checking out some properties. You know he's into real estate. No, Elena, no. I know what I saw. And this was him with another woman. Not like a business partner kind of thing. Okay, if the new era business partner kind of person is kissing and hugging another woman in public, then I would say it's fine. But this was more. Girl, it's screaming lovers. Are you sure it's my husband you saw? Yes. See, you know what? I know this might be very, very hard for you to swallow. But... The, the worst is, you see your husband as a perfect man. To you, your husband is an angel. You trust him so much. And I'll advise you to come down here and see for yourself because I'm very sure he's not going to sleep here. Is that something you can do? Uh, what did you say the name of the hotel is? Cadillac Hotel. Okay, okay. You'll see me soon. Okay, I'll wait for you. Mr. Perfect. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hello, babe. Where are you? Baby, I don't understand. I said, just look, just answer me. Where are you right now? Why are you now? asking me where I am? What's going on? Is there a problem? Are, are you all right? Austin, just answer me. Where are you? Okay. You know that my new boss I told you about, we both went to Cadillac Hotel to meet up a new client who's interested in some of this property. So we're here right now negotiating with the client and from the look of things, baby, this man is going to buy this property. So, eh? Do you know how much I'm going to make as per percentage if it scales through? Baby, I finally will spoil you silly with a good life. I'll take you on vacation to Seychelles where you have to just relax and ease all that, you know? And this will definitely make you feel way better. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, that sounds... Sounds amazing. And I pray it comes through. Amen, baby. Baby, hold on. Speak to my boss. My wife. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm so glad to hear from you. Your husband speaks so highly of oh, you. Oh, thank you so much, Matt. And thank you for granting him this uh, meeting. You're welcome. I must say you've got such a respectful and hardworking oh, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt. Bye. Bye. It's okay. All right now, to have a lovely day. Okay, I'm waiting, okay? I love you. Bye. So this is how I would have just gone there and wasted my time. Or maybe I would have even caused this scene. And I would have cost Austin this job. Thank you, Jesus. Patience and trust is really a virtue. This woman won't come and scatter your marriage for you. Hello? Hello? Elena, are you not supposed to be here by now? Oh, uh, there's no need, Ma. I don't understand. What do you mean? I called my husband and he told me he's there with his business partners. What? Wait. Are you trying to say I don't know what I saw? <laughs> Wait, do you think I'm making this up? To what end? Wow. Just wow. So, so you called your husband and you expected him to say the truth. Are you that gullible? Ma, with all due respect, you are one of my most valuable customers and I really, really appreciate your patronage. But please, I'd like you to just stay out of my personal affairs. 
let's just continue to do business as we've been doing and stay out of each other's personal lives. Really? You know, women like you are the reason why men think they are smart. And they think they also have power to... You know what? Get off my phone. What, 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 what happened? What Babe, did you say? can you believe this? Hello? She's so angry. Baby, I was surprised when you called to ask me why I was. You know, some people just don't know how to mind their business. So I was there and someone called and said she saw you walking into a hotel with a woman. Really? Who was that? It's just one of my customers. <laughs> now, wow. Customer? Mm hmm. Baby, I've told you to be careful with this, your customers, and how you relate with them. Not everyone you laugh with wishes you happiness. Huh? You can imagine someone you don't even have a personal relationship with you concluded and jumping to conclusions like this. Maybe just forget about them. <laughs> It's damn good I married a smart and a wise woman. Eh? It was one of those foolish girls of nowadays. That's how they will come to fight and create a scene and do only God knows what. I'm not stupid now. Mm, you know now. Above everything, I love you and I trust you. And I know you would never do anything to hurt me. I know you know me. Hmm? And I love you too. <laughs> Hey, but just be careful of this killjoys. Hmm? Be wary of them because trust me, some of them don't have peace and happiness in their homes. And once they notice you have in yours, they'll do anything just to take it out. Hmm? You're right. Hmm? You're right. So please be careful. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the meeting? It was great. Yeah, the lady I spoke to on the phone, she sounded nice. Yeah. She's, she's nice. She's, she's good. I'm very optimistic about this. Hmm? I'm very optimistic about it. <laughs> so how was your day? It was stressful. Oh, oh. There was one place I went to make a delivery today. That place was so far. I don't know why people would even live in that type of place. I'm so sorry. My entire body's aching. Sorry, my baby. <laughs> and I want a massage, please. <laughs> you know I got you, right? Okay. Ow. This pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman, I like the way you move, pretty woman. No other woman looks like you. No other woman sounds like you. Baby, uh -uh. I got joy, uh, joy, I got joy, uh, sexy lady. Do you know my name? Uh, uh, have you heard my name? Woo! Man, this is good. This is a good feeling. Uh, uh. Ah, uh, sexual healing. Sexual healing. Something that's good for me.
Baby, uh, I have a meeting for 10 o'clock. I'm with a new boss. I don't want to get stuck in traffic, so wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Love you. Baby, what's wrong? Are you king? What's going on? And I saw the disgusting messages she sent to you. Tell me something, Austin. What did I ever do to deserve this? Tell me. All I have ever done is try my best to be a good wife. I have loved you and I've respected you and I've done everything in me. And this, this is what I get in return. This is what I get for turning down all those tempting offers from men. This is what I get. I'm sorry. Tell me what I did. I must have done something wrong for you to do this to me. Abe, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve this. Okay? You don't deserve this. It was temptation. What kind of stupid temptation are you talking about? That thing that you brought into our home. She doesn't compare to me. I know. It was just... It was just temptation. I, I felt alone, I felt neglected, and needy. I'm sorry. Oh. You felt alone. When you were working, and you were the one providing, wasn't I there? Didn't I give you all the time and attention that you want? Now that the tables have turned, and I have to work and provide for us. You feel lonely and neglected. Do you hear how stupid you sound? You sound like a child. So what you want me to do is wake up in the morning, cook, get ready to send out orders, take them out, deliver them, go to the market, come back and still give me your stupid attention. That's what you want from me. Austin, you are a selfish and ungrateful person. And I've wasted my time with you, Austin. No, I'm, I'm so, please, I'm sorry. Elena! Elena, please, come! I don't blame you, I blame myself for being in a relationship with you, giving you a chance in my life, and you feel you can ride over. <laughs> okay, this relationship, I'm the one that called the shots. If you like. <sighs> Wait, is he not the one? Okay. All right. Show him how it's done. Shall we? Ah! All right, Kilo Shelley, why you want to pour me water? No vex. I think it's another useless boyfriend of mine. But I don't they fight again. I told him it's over. It's what? <laughs> over a call. Over a knee. 
Anyways, we'll come back begging as usual. Now, that, that right there is the problem. So he will do something and I'll take him back. He will go back and do even the worst and most annoying thing. You know, sometimes I feel this guy just deliberately does stuff to get a reaction from me. And I, I am done. I am done with it. I can't deal with this. Seriously. But the thing is, I shall know that, you know, all this up and down, it actually spices up the relationship, you know. And I'm happy that he knows that I called the shot in the relationship. And he has to do my bidding. Yes. Babe. I hail you. What has he done this time? Now you're asking the right question. Do you know that this good for nothing of a man chose his job over me, Nicole? <laughs> Can you believe it? He chose his job over me. Babe. Why are you taking this thing so personal? Maybe he's caught up with something, I guess. Sorry? Something more important than me? Babe. Wait, what do you? <laughs> Wait, I am supposed to be his first priority. Don't forget that. I hear you, but you need to relax. Take a chill pill, relax. No, 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 no. Really? No! It doesn't Relax, happen. I, I refuse. Do not you're really stressing yourself over this relationship thing. I really messed up. I really messed up this time. What did I do? God! What, what, what am I going to do? What do I even start from? Where can she be? Sorry, Ma. I should have listened to you, but I just, I allowed my emotions get the best of me. I, I thought that he truly respected me and truly loved me the way I did. True love? But I told you true love only exists in fairy tales. That, that's a fantasy. It's not real. You didn't believe me when I told you he was with another woman. I'm actually glad you've seen him for who he really is. A liar, a cheat, and a man. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I... Come on, you don't, you don't have to be. I'm a woman like you and I understand perfectly how you feel. So wipe your tears. It's not the end of the world. As a matter of fact, you just dodged a bullet from the pit of hell. This is an opportunity for you to embrace the real life and give worthy men an opportunity to treat you right, take care of you, and make sure you live a good life and a comfortable one at that. Okay? Don't waste any more tears on that fool. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. <laughs> so after everything, that guy break that woman's heart. As in, yes, so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. see, she caught her husband with this woman red-handed. You don't say, ah, I called her and I told her about it, that she was going on and on and on and being all stupid and blabbing up and down. But now, see what has happened. This breakup has really opened her eyes. It has. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. so bad for her. Mm. After everything she invested in that marriage. Ah, it's quite unfortunate. Just a play. You go to a trust man. Hmm. You go to a trust man. A whole man. Man that will use your eye and see Shege Banza. 
Wait, it's just like you now doing all lovey dovey with your boyfriend. The day that guy will show you Pepe. <laughs> I'll be sitting at that corner looking at you with the corner of my eye. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Mm -hmm. Cover my relationship with the precious blood of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they play. Well, on a serious note, I think this breakup thing is actually a really good thing for her. It will help her sit down relax and reflect on life and make better life decisions when it comes to men. I know, right? Yeah. That's what I think. Hey, but babe, uh, make I warn you. If there's that your nonsense relationship, prediction, prediction, whatever it is you people call it, <laughs> no can I call my relationship and not follow you laugh. <laughs> I, I serious. Why did they laugh? Get out. They follow, they, they, they follow you talk the time today. You must call my relationship me, inside. Jerry. They fuck up. Okay. Man, go show you no, shake, no worry. I'm not my chest. I don't understand. Said, wait, wait. Good day. When wait, you they pass bring, for shop, you go go roll. You must see complete. If you come my house, no one right. treat you. Go and help yourself. I'm not Find your house girl. Eh? Be your house girl. Go, go help yourself. Say what now? Go help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's extremely funny. Easy, easy, easy. easy. <laughs> Look, I don't know if anyone has ever said this to you, but you're actually a really handsome person. Where's the? Has yeah. anyone ever said Why? that to you? Switch. Easy. Okay, <laughs> just. Thank I'm just you. asking you. Yeah, to yeah, help. thank you, but just, <laughs> just settle before no, you hurt yourself. No, 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 no. Just I sit, think, sit, I think sit, your sit, body's sit. quite comfortable, not the bed. <laughs> you know, I feel sad, but happy at the same time. fulfilled but not like <laughs> fulfilled in a good way it's like if anything I should be commended for my strength because what I've done is what people don't have strength to do for years and <laughs> if they don't think that's commendable then the joke's on them Look, I hear you, but I really think you should just get some sleep, all right? You'd feel better in the morning. You know, I had better offers. But I chose to stay with that. That fool. <laughs> Understanding wife in the mud. <laughs> But sleep is very far right now. Maybe later I'll sleep. For now, I'm awake. Guy, I don't know what to do. My wife has left me and I'm so confused and broken. I don't even know where to look for her or, or, or even how to reach her. So I guess you're saying all of this because you want me to help you, right? That's what friends are for. I can't lose my wife. I can't lose my wife, but I remember when I was telling you not to do this. After everything she's done for you, you went on and you were cheating on her. Now see where that's landed you. No, no, can you see where that's landed you now? Are you trying to tell me you can't help me? See, all I'm gonna say is this. Keep doing whatever you're doing, however you're doing it, whatever you think can reach her, keep doing it. But right now, I might come in later, but not now. Not now. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't even give me that look, because I warned you. I told you all of this, but you'd never listen. I told you not to do this. I told you not to follow this way. Not to, just to leave that girl alone, but you'd not listen. Now see where you've landed yourself. Can you see where you've landed yourself? Can you see it? No, you see yourself now. You see yourself. You left a good woman just because you were chasing frivolity. To see where it had landed you. Eh? You want good sex, you want good sex. No, no, you should put co 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 the, the, the good sex you want to put food on your table. Why well, you're not a porn star? Yes, hello. Hi, good evening. 
Good morning. Um, how are you doing today? I am good. And you? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You, you really do not remember me, do you? <laughs> am I supposed to? Wow. Um, well, I, I'm not surprised. I, um, I was the guy who brought you to your room last night. Yeah, I saw you at the lobby. You were pretty wasted and could barely stand, so I decided to help. Oh my gosh, I am, um, you know, this, that, that makes sense. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I, I didn't remember you, you were the one. And thank you. Yesterday was a really, really horrible day for me. I didn't even realize I had taken that much alcohol. But thank you, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience I must have caused you. It's and nothing. Thank you. It's Lindsay. nothing. Um, I just came to check on you. You take care of yourself, and I will check on you again later. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm Jason, by the way, but everyone calls me Jay. <laughs> Elena. Okay. See you around. Okay. <laughs> So, babes, where do you think I should go? Dubai, Canada, UK? Uh... <clears throat> Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. It doesn't seem so. Because, I mean, I've been trying to give you premium gist and you're not listening. What is it you're looking at on your phone? That, are you expecting a call or something? No, babe. So, what is it? I'm fine. See, I'm with you. Okay? If you <sighs> say so. So, what do you think about my choice? Um, sorry, can you come again? <sighs> really? Why are you not listening? Why is your mind? Why did you like this? Babe, now? I beg, no vex. Seriously, just repeat yourself one more time. I should repeat myself. Please. Okay. You know you can talk to me, right? What is it? What's the problem? Babe, I just told you that I'm fine. I just said it. Okay, you don't have to yell. But seriously, though, are you okay? You know I love you, right? You can't do anything to me with that eyes. <laughs> Baby, you know. <gasps> I'm not your boyfriend. Please don't oh, me. Oh, just so you know, you're my boyfriend for today. No, I don't. I don't do girls. <laughs> now that's the smile right ah! there. Come on, smile. Whatever the problem is, it's be fine, okay? Ouch! No, me ouch. With your boyfriend, now you even open up your hand, now me ouch. <laughs> Hey. Um, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but you look like you have not moved from the spot I left you the last time I came here. You look like you haven't had anything to eat. You look like you haven't taken a bath. What's going on? Nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. What does that mean? Well, I don't mean to pry, but you, uh, you did say a bunch of stuff yesterday that suggests that you're not fine. Something about a certain someone doing something to you and let's just say that I know you're going through a lot and I understand how you feel. I told you that. Well, that and a lot more. <sighs> Come in. Please. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Look, um, I'm a man that has seen many things in life, especially in the hands of your gender and uh, this thing called love. So if I said that I'd, I don't understand how you feel, then I would be lying to you. Look, he, whoever this guy is, has done what they did. And allowing yourself to just drown in the pain is not going to make anything better. You just have to decide if you want to stick around or if you want to move on. But how do you move on when your heart is still where you're coming from? It's really not that easy. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I agree. I know. I know it's not easy, but that's really what's best for you right now. Because like I said, allowing yourself to just drown in the sorrow is just hurting yourself the more. All right. You have to find the strength to decide if you want to forgive him 
and take him back or move on with your life? No, I, I can't forgive him. Cheating is a deal breaker for me. He betrayed my trust. And that's why he's calling and, and begging and texting and apologizing because he regrets it. But when I thought about this, I actually realized that if he has an alternative or money, he probably wouldn't be back begging me. And I don't want to be in that situation. So no, I'm, I'm not going back to him. Okay, great. So why don't you freshen up, get something to eat and just go out, you know, get some air. You know, allow yourself to, you know, have the opportunity to be happy and meet people and just live life again. All right? The deed has been done. And the fact is, it's not the end of the world. I actually do believe that it just might be the beginning of better things for you. But I feel the need to ask one last time. Are you sure you don't want to go back? You know, I'm, I'm glad I've given it thought because I, I can't look at him the same, which means I can't trust him. And what is a relationship without trust? Which is why I think it's better we both move on. All right then. Um... Look, just, just freshen up, okay? I will send the kitchen to send you something to eat. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. I'll see you soon. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm fine. How, how did you get my number? Oh, part of the things you gave me the other night. <laughs> oh, really? Please, tell me what else I gave you. I, I hope I didn't give you like my ATM pin or any of my secrets. <laughs> well, let's just say you said quite a lot. <laughs> oh, voila. Well, um, thank you. Thank you for taking care of me, even when you really didn't have to. And also calling to check up on me. I feel so much lighter. All thanks to you. That's good to know. Okay, so um, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to take you out to somewhere cool and serene. I feel like it's going to help you. You are far too kind. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> okay, tomorrow then. Oh, wait, before you go, um. What's your name again? Jason, but everyone calls me Jay. Okay, Jay. <laughs> Are you lodged here as well? Yes. Why? You don't stay in town? Well, I do, but uh, sometimes I just feel the need to leave home and cool off here for a while. Okay, that is a commendable amount of self-care. Good, good. So what do you do? I'm a tech guy. Oh. Mm, tech guy. <laughs> well, I'm a chef. I know. You told me. I did? <laughs> yeah, you cook good meals and sell to people. Okay. Well, since you already know, thank you for availing yourself. And thank you for everything once again. You're most welcome. Once again. All right. Hey, are you ready? Yes, I am. <clears throat> um, you don't look like it. How do you mean? Um, Elena, we are going out. All right, as in out, out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't take this the wrong way, but you are dressed a bit too simple. Look, this night is for you. It's not about me, so uh, yeah, but this is about you, right? You need to be in something elegant, something beautiful, something 
exquisite that do justice to your body. All right? Like this whole thing is not working for me. Your past is in your past. You're opening yourself up to like, you know, new opportunities, new friendships, meeting new people, potentially meeting someone who might fancy being in a relationship with you. So I would say best foot forward at all times. Besides, you still have your wedding ring on. Are you sure you don't want to like, you know, go back to this guy? No, this I, I forgot to take off. Mm -hmm. But as for the outfits, I think this red dress is beautiful and it's the best dress I have. Yeah, I don't know. It's not working. Just uh, give me a few seconds. A few seconds to do what? To fix this. I'm trying to order you something to wear. You didn't really think that you were going to go out in that, did you? Yeah. So if I leave you, you actually wear this one? <laughs> wow. We all set? So? Wow. Uh, now this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I almost couldn't recognize myself. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Um, shall we? Yes. I expected it, anticipated People are it. This <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for tonight. I had so much fun. And I don't think I've ever I've had this much fun in such a long time. I I really lost myself in that marriage. I just became a, a shadow of myself. It's fine. It's all right. I, you don't need to thank me. All right. Listen, all of that is now in your past. Okay. The future is what matters. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the future, tell me, what did you think of the guy? <laughs> well, I mean, there was something off about his energy. It, it didn't seem like he is looking for a relationship or anything real. He's probably just looking for someone to get down with. And I am not looking for that. So I just played along and hopefully we stay friends. Really? Friends? Mm-hmm. That fine boy. That big. You fine boys. Them so they get down with Wahala. Mm-hmm. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, your girlfriend must be lucky. There she goes. Assuming that I have a girlfriend. Fine boy like you for this Lagos, you never see babe. Lagos babes with your ID red. They know they wait so. <laughs> Interesting. Or well, maybe I'm the one that's not positioning myself to be seen. Reasons best known to me. I don't understand. I come to your house and there is no food. And then you want me to use my own money to go out and get food for you. And after that, you expect me to spread my legs so that you can knock me anyhow you want. Huh? And when we are done, and I am ready to leave, and then you tell me, baby, goodbye. Austin, do I look like anti Christmas to you? Hmm? Babe, hey, you know my situation. Hey? You know my situation, and I've been giving you money before. I beg! Enough! 
I'm not in this relationship to be doing understanding girlfriend rubbish with you. Babe, are you talking to me in this manner because things took a wrong turn for me? I will talk to you in whatever manner I choose to talk to you. Did you just hear yourself? You're asking me if I'm talking to you in this manner. Austin, have you been playing your part as a boyfriend? Huh? See, I know I've been playing my role as a girlfriend. I take care of you. I give you maximum attention. I spread my legs any time you want to knock me. And then, on the other hand, what have you been doing? You have failed as a boyfriend. You have failed woefully. And instead, you're asking me, I'm talking to you in such manner. Did you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself? Huh? Instead of you to be telling me thank you, instead of you to be appreciative of the good things I've been doing for you, instead, you're here doing fine boy with broad chests, six packs with empty pockets. You know they shame. Shame know they catch you. Babe, eh? Babe, please just calm down, okay? Calm down. I'm working on some things. Things will definitely get better very soon. I assure you, normalcy will be restored. No one, no one, no I go do my day. You self, day your day. Abi, after all, the person with your belly full, they fall in love. Eve, really? Yes, really! And don't you call my line, broke ass nigga. Eve. papers. Please sign them, Austin. It's over between us and there's nothing that you can do or say that will change that. Elena, I promise we can sort this out. Who's we? Please just sign the papers. I'm done. We are done. No, Look, my lawyer will be here to pick this up. Please, I expect it to be signed by then. Please. Elena! That guy get mine though. He actually came to the club with no money. Maybe he thought he was going to pay with his fine face. Mm -hmm. And the way he was even begging for money with pride. I should have still give him to avoid embarrassment. I think I would pick that situation over mine. So this guy, know him fully well. Or is it that he doesn't know that he has bad breath, mouth odor that was suffocating me? He was still leaning forward and talking. Are you okay? Really? <laughs> and in my head, I'm just like, wait. You have bad breath, and your priority is looking for a woman. Now that same mouth, you go use kiss person picking. Well, maybe he doesn't know, and uh, I think you're being unfair. Look, I saw that guy, and he looked like he was genuinely interested in you. Ah, uh, he should not be interested in me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I don't even think you can find a decent relationship in that type of place. Well, I mean, I guess all you can do right now is just uh, keep going out and living your best life with or without a relationship. Abby, it's not be by force say everybody go do a relationship now. Ah, Mado, <laughs> find your rich breakfast on drop quotes. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Well, I thought to mention that I will be traveling to Delta States in a few days. Oh. Why? Well, I've been trying to get an apartment. I still haven't been able to, and I need an apartment to start up my business again. And the little money that I've saved, I don't want to finish it here in this hotel, so I'm thinking just go back to Delta and stay there with my sister until I figure things out. I see. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I could take care of your bills for a while. Uh, and isn't that going to be too much? No, no, no. It's not. Seriously, I, I could take care of your bills while you, you know, focus on finding an apartment. Um, I could even hook you up with my agent. He's very good. I'm sure he can find something that is comfortable and uh, affordable for you. If you don't mind. Well, I mean... Are you sure that's not going to be too much I'm for you? Certainly, it's not too much. Well, <laughs> thank you. I don't even know how to react. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, probably should head back now. But um, I hope you have a good night. Yes. Thank you. Right, I'll see you around. <laughs> so guys like this still exist. Look, guy, bottom line is that I am done with this. I can't do this anymore doesn't make any sense. This is the seventh time she's breaking up with me inside one year for no reason. I didn't do anything. Even if I'm the rejected stone, like, guy, I, I deserve better. We can't keep doing this back and forth, back and forth. It doesn't make any sense. Yes. Look, that's why I even left the house to just come here and just cool off because I, I can't keep dealing with her drama. Look, guy, I deserve better. Bottom line is that I am done with this. I think it's best we just go our separate ways. She can focus on herself and I'll focus on me. Hey. Hey. Uh, how are you? Hope you've, uh, you've eaten and you're good. Yes, I'm good. Awesome. So, what about you? I am good as ever. So what time are we heading out? Actually, I um, I don't feel like going out. Oh, how come? What happened? So I, I want to ask you something, but I want you to be honest. Okay. Do you think I'm beautiful? I mean... Do you think I'm a good person or or is there something wrong with me hey, that hey, I can't hey, see? Hey, hey, listen, don't, don't do that to yourself, all right? I know you're asking all these questions because you haven't met someone yet, but listen, in the short time that I've known you, I can tell you for a fact that you're not just beautiful, but you're smart, you're intelligent, you're, you're driven, you've got a, a beautiful heart, and any man would be very lucky to have you and I hope and pray that you find him. Well, um, what if I found him? And what if that man is you? Why would you think that? I mean, prove me wrong. If I'm as good as you say and you're single, then I, I never said that I was single. Right, the same way you never said or never mentioned how deeply hurt you were from how she has been treating you. I mean, breaking up with you seven times in a year? How, how, how did you 
I overheard your conversation. Look, the amount of torture and trauma that you've had to go through and still you've somehow been able to conceal that and prioritize taking care of me. I may be wrong, but that is the rarest and most intentional form of kindness I've ever been shown. I, um, I, I, I don't know what to say. But since we're being honest, I have a small confession. So the, the first time that I ever saw you at the lobby, wasted, I, um, I knew that I liked you instantly. I just didn't want to push because I didn't want it to seem like it was because I helped you. Yeah. So, what about now? Hard guy, hard guy. Admit that you miss this guy and I call him already. You will not die. Excuse me? Yes. Call him. Tell him you miss him. You love him. You're ready to do anything to make this relationship work. Call this guy. Your name will not change. Please. No. I, I should call him. <sighs> call him and let my guard down. That's exactly what he expects me to do. But I will not give him that. I will not play into his palms. For what? Explain to me in terms that I would understand. So why are you worried? <sighs> so whenever we fight, he calls me within minutes or few hours. Okay. But now, it's been days, babe. He hasn't called, text, nothing. What does that scream to you? Does that scream anything to you? This guy is obviously tired with the whole begging charades. He thinks you're taking him for granted. He is human and he has feelings to babes. If you know what is good for you, do what you have to do before this thing gets out of hand. No, I can't call him. Wait. Are you insane? I should call him. I, Nicole. I, sh I should beg him. What? Are you mad? No, seriously, very soon he's going to find out that I'm the most beautiful, classy, and amazing girl he has ever met, and he'll never find someone like me. He will soon find out I'm the best thing that happened to him, and he cannot do without me. I should... Uh, so this is from my agent. Let's have a look and see if you like it. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Look. Sorry, see what now? I said I love this one. Look at it. Hmm. Well, I'd have you know that the word love is reserved exclusively for me and for me alone. You can <laughs> use the like to express interest. So let's try that again. Okay, fine. I love G, mm -hmm. and I like this one. That sounds more like it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying that this is a um, two-bedroom apartment. It's in a secure estate. The roads are good, no flooding. They're very important. Um, it's got security, and it's in close proximity to markets and other landmarks. That is 
exactly what I wanted in close proximity to markets. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we just go check it out and if it's everything he says it is, I'll pay for it. You would? Yeah. do anything for you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. I, I don't even know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. I have been calling him countless times. I have sent him series of messages. He's not returning my calls. Neither has he replied any of my messages. You're the one that forced me into letting my guard down. Now I have. See? See the level of insults that I have to take now. Nikki, will you calm down? Let your guard down and give it time. I'm sure he's probably angry or something. Angry? Wait, am I not supposed to be the one who should be angry? Madam? If we're going to be truthful here and call a spade a spade, you are the one who wronged that guy. He did absolutely nothing wrong to you. So chill. He's going to come back to you. And when he does, mess this up this time. <sighs> to be honest, I, I don't know what to do. I went to his house the other day and his security said he traveled for <laughs> about three weeks. I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm worried. I know. The worst is him completely shutting me out. Thank you, relax. All right, relax. I'm sure he's gonna come back, I promise he will. Sure. Yes, I am sure. At least he has seen your calls, text messages. He would see now that you value him as much as he values you too. He will. Please just try and chill, okay? He will come back to you. He will. Yeah, he will come back. back last night with good news. He's been promoted at work. So that means my money and my beautiful things, baby. You know? Really? You yes. think this is the right time for you to tell me about your man? Come on, don't be like this now. Hmm? <sighs> yeah, um, that reminds me. You won't believe what I witnessed today. Uh, Zara, please, don't add to my worries. I, I beg you. Something fishing is going on. Jay is in town. I saw him with another lady today. They look so happy and in love. Yes. What? Zara, stop. You know, this is a very sensitive topic. I'm dead serious. 
I saw him with that lady. Yes, the one the husband cheated on. She looked so beautiful, I could barely recognize her. And Jay, being the gentleman that he is, they look so happy and good together. And if not because they're my friend, I would have said. Oh No, Zara, so please, I beg you. So, Jay cannot do this to me. Do you know where they are? Of course. I can't give you half big gist. Okay. Well, I follow them to the hotel where they are lodged. So, yeah. No, no. Jay cannot do this to me. This, this isn't happening. What do you want to do now? What do I want to do now? Of course I have to go and fight for what's rightfully mine. I'm not going to let any woman come from nowhere and take my man away from me. And is that what you're supposed to do? What? What do you expect me to do? I should just sit down and do nothing? Wait, do you, do you want her to take him away from me? Let me get this right. Is it the same Jay we're talking about? The one you acted as if you don't care about? Of course I care about him and that's what matters. <sighs> please, please take me there. Please. You have to take me there. Zara, stand please, up now. I'm coming. Take your bag, let's go. <laughs> I think the food was really nice, though. Yes, I mean, uh, who is it? Room service. <gasps> really? What are you doing here, Nicole? So it's true. So this is the thing you left me for. Wait, hold on. This is why you've not been taking my calls. Why you've been ignoring me? You know, I had, I had so much respect for you. But, but now, you've totally lost it. Stop this nonsense. What is wrong? Why are you here? Look, first of all, I don't know why you came here. Secondly, I did not leave you. Okay? Except you've developed a severe case of amnesia. You must remember that you were the one who left me. You broke up with me. You asked me to leave your house and never show my face again. And that the relationship was over. Same thing you had done severally this year. And I finally walked away. And I'm glad that I did because I found love. I found respect. I found genuine care. Something you could never give me in a hundred years. So I'm asking you again, what are you doing here? You found love in who? It's been you all along? No, 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 I, I, I didn't even know you guys had a thing. We just met. Now you know. He's my man. Can you leave him for you me now? Be a joker because I am not your man. Not anymore. No, Jay, don't, don't say that. Jay, I love you. And I can't let this mistake of a woman take you away from me. That's enough! Look, I can take any form of disrespect from you as I've proven over the years. But I won't stand here and have you disrespect my woman. Do it one more time. Just one more time, Nicole, and you regret coming here to make a fool of yourself. Jay, it's me, your Nicole. I didn't know anything about her personal life. We met online and I had supplied food to her several times and on some occasions she would tell me how I should leave my husband because he can't take care of me how men should never be trusted and they don't deserve true love as women we should always hold back some emotion she was actually the first person that saw my husband when he was cheating on me she asked me to leave him but I didn't until I eventually caught him and I left him and then she advised me never to forgive him but I didn't do it because of what she said I had already made up my mind that I wasn't going to give him a second opportunity to manipulate me so. <clears throat> um. Yes, uh, Nicole was my girlfriend, and um, in the time that we were together, she 
She brought me a lot of pain. I went through a lot. A lot. It was so bad that I got to a point where I was starting to doubt my own sanity, you know? You know the full story. Look, what matters right now is that I'm in a better place. A much better place. And it's because of you. All that display was just uh, her last stage of desperation as an emotionally damaged woman. I'm here with you. I'm here for you. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that could ever come between this love that we have found for ourselves. So, what are we going to do now? That's a good question. Um, <clears throat> you know, she knows where we are and I don't want to go back to my house because I fear she might show up there and I really do not have the energy for her drama, so... I think we should just go to your new place. It's not fully furnished yet. It's fine. Look, we'll figure it out together. Okay? I will deal with that girl. Because nobody is taking my man away from me. Yes. I will do whatever it takes to get him back. Babes, <laughs> this situation doesn't require violence. You don't need to be violent. I told you several times, but you treated this guy very badly. He truly loved and cared about you, but you, you pushed him away, and now he fell out of love with you. If you know what is good for you at this point, I strongly suggest you go beg him. Because with what I saw out there, <laughs> he is smithing by that girl. You and I know that girl is a keeper. Never, I would never, never lose him. Not to her, not to anyone else. Okay. I mean, nobody treats me like Jay. Oh. I can't lose my chair. <laughs> so you know this. And yet you, you kept going. I pleaded with you, but no. Being the Nicole, almighty Nicole that you are. Now look at you. Anyway, the deed is done. The only thing is just to go beg him. That's just the only solution. I pray he takes you back. Nicole, what are you doing here? I sincerely apologize. Please. Before you say anything, I need you to know that I have forgiven you. Alright? I bear no grudge whatsoever. It's just that my heart does not beat for you anymore. It beats for someone else. And I've moved on. I suggest you do the same thing for your own good. Jay, baby, please. Please, you can't leave me. I love you so much. Just give me a chance to prove how much I love you. I know you don't deserve everything I did to you, please. Don't make this any harder for yourself than it already is. I'm in a much better place right now. And I genuinely hope that you find someone that is deserving of you. No, nobody will treat me the way you do. Besides, I don't want anyone else. It's you I want. Please. Sorry. Please, <laughs> Elena, 
Listen to me. Jay is my boyfriend and we've been through so much together. Leave him alone. To think that I have to lose my man to someone like you? No, I would not do something like that because I would go to any length to have him back in my life. I don't care what it is. No, honey, I am not threatening you. It's a promise I intend to keep. You can go ahead and ask around. Ask for Nikki the Viper. I don't make empty threats. Do not cross me. Do not mess with me. Who is he? Who has been calling you non-stop and sending you those nasty text messages? Who is he, eh? Wait, oh. You think we're still dating? You think we're boyfriend and girlfriend? What's that supposed to mean? Of course you're my girlfriend. <laughs> Austin! Ha! Eh? My dear Austin, I broke up with you a long, long time ago. The moment you stopped meeting my needs and demands. Hmm? Now let me answer your question. You see those men that text and call me? They are my new boyfriends. Because they are the ones actually doing what a boyfriend is supposed to do. Hmm? Let me make it officially clear to you. Hmm? It is over between you and I. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to pack my remaining stuff. And trust me, I won't come here again. Unless, maybe the mullah start coming in. You know how to reach me now, because you see this baby girl? I'm here for the soft life. Hmm? You don't expect me to do a show free now. How do you want me to pay my bills? Eh? How do you want me to maintain this beauty, this body? Eh? Guy. I can't do better than this. Hmm? Enough of this plenty talk, yeah? Bye. I don't want to be a part of this thing as this case is going. You issued that lady a threat. If anything happened to her, I'm sure you heard what he said. You, your family, that includes me. And I don't want to be a part of anything that I know nothing about. Okay. Just see, babes. We've lost him. All right? And I'm, I mean, this is live. It happens. It's totally normal. It's not out of place. We don't always get what we want in life. And it's okay, totally fine. Please, just let it go. I mean, his heart is clearly with that lady, so there is no way we'll be fighting for a lost cause. <sighs> Teach yourself as the lesson. I mean, we shouldn't take the ones who love us for granted, all in the name of uh, uh, pride and, and, and standard. Give it here. <laughs> Come here, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Give me this. This will not solve anything. <laughs> you are loved, okay? It's okay. <laughs> Just let this go. It's okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you all set? Yes, yes, I am. It is happening. I'm actually very happy for you. Finally moving into your own space, starting a brand new life. Yes. I'm happy for you. 
I am starting life afresh with the most amazing person by my side. Thank you, Jay, for showing me what it means to truly be loved by someone. I've fallen in love with you in such a short period and I don't regret it. You're literally, you've literally proven that disappointments can actually be a blessing. You walked into my life as this shining bright light and with you by my side, I believe I can actually do anything. I love you, Jay. I love you too, Alina. I don't make a grown man cry. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'm your